Hey guys, welcome back to Electric Oka Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a BMW E46, this one will be guys a 3 series from year 1998 to year 2006 guys. And if you have a code P0036 which is related to oxygen sensor guys, but this is okay known as oxygen sensor 2 or downstream oxygen sensor. This is the one past the catalytic converter. Okay, so. It's not the one before the catalytic converter, it's the one after the catalytic converter. Stay with us guys, we'll show you how we will test it, we'll show you where it's located and all that stuff, what needs to be done to replace it and in addition guys, okay, uh, we'll be sharing all the tools and parts including the replacement sensor and part numbers in the description of the video below and see where you can get yours from for a good price. So let's go ahead start on it but before that let me introduce you guys we we'll have more than 200 videos on this car. Why? Because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please guys subscribe to the channel, like the video and leave a comment below. Quite a bit of helpful information will be shared here. So let's start on it now. So let me start the car for you. I'll show you guys. Okay engine light is on. Okay let me turn that. Well with the light it's probably a little bit better. Okay you can see engine light is on right there so it stays on no matter what you do guys the light will stay on like that so what we'll do now i'll turn the engine off turn the ignition on okay just like that turn the ignition on and now i'll be using guys okay that foxwell scanner here you can find it listed in the description of the video below super good scanner you can check clear and read codes from the engine computer, ABS system, airbag system, you can register battery, you have the DPF function for the diesel vehicles, electric parking brakes, gear worm injectors, quite a few things you can do with that computer guys. So I'll definitely, okay, I'll definitely recommend it. So we'll go to engine now, OBD2, and it's going to connect to the, to the vehicle and all that stuff. As I said guys, we'll have more than 200 videos on E46 and every car we get at the shop because our mission guys is to save you as much money as we can now it's linking the vehicle to the protocol that it's using so this is the one now ISO 91410-2 not that we need to know that but it just let us know anyways okay it's almost almost there now so you can see we have one code code found one we'll click OK then we'll select the module and we'll click read codes and one is stored codes, one is pending codes so you can check both of them to make sure that you have uh, you don't have another code that it's about to pop but we don't, we have P0036 oxygen sensor heater control circuit bank 1 sensor 2 what bank 1 means guys, stay with us, we'll demonstrate, we'll open the engine and all that stuff. Bank 1 is uh, on the 6 cylinder engine, it's on 6 cylinder BMW engine, it's cylinder 1, 2 and 3. Bank 2 will be 4, 5 and 6. Sensor 2 is the one after the catalytic converter, we know that for sure. So this is not so very important sensor for the work for the way the engine performs it's more like uh, detecting if the catalytic converter is doing its job now we'll go back and i'll show you guys how we're going to check it out with live data right here live data enter now you have two sensors after the catalytic converters on the six cylinder engine one for bank one one for bank two both of the sensors should give about the same parameters guys and if one is static, not moving or completely off, it means that it's bad. And we'll show you how we can check those. Okay, so bank 1 sensor 2 and bank 2 sensor 2 should give about the same, okay, the same numbers. Okay, well, let me scroll down until we find it. Okay, and we're getting there somewhere. Oxygen sensor output. Bank 1 sensor 1, we need to select this one. Oxygen sensor output, okay, bank 2, sensor 2. Now we click view data. I uh, will start the car now, they're about the same. Let's start the car now. Perfect, car is running. Okay, and you need to give it guys some time for the sensors to warm up. Why? Because they, some of them will start working after the um, engine reaches certain temperature 
so the catalytic converters can be performing as well. Now our car, it's almost warm now, so you can see one of them, okay definitely started working now. <coughs> bank 2 sensor 2 is working, the other one it's not moving at all, that's the one that we have problems with, bank 1 sensor 1. If I rev it up, check it out, okay we are going to get one of them moving, the other one not. I can click to see the graphs for both of them, this is bank 1 sensor 2, bank 2 sensor sensor 2 you know okay let me merge the graph because this one sometimes okay it's confusing a little bit but okay you can definitely see okay right there merging the graphs one of them is moving one of them is not moving at all check it out okay how one of them goes up and down up and down that's how it should be the other one it doesn't do anything guys so we'll show you what you need to do in that case let's turn the car off and we'll continue so i removed one of the covers uh, this is this is the cover guys here for the uh, for the fuel injectors and for the oxygen sensor this cover is usually attached here you have two caps that you need to remove one here one towards the back and you have one bolt here and one towards the back you remove those and you can pull it out now, if you want to gain more room, you can remove the cabin air filter here, housing, all that, engine will open up and you can work on your vehicle better. Now, as I said guys, bank, bank one is cylinders, okay, ignition coils one, two and three, right here, cylinder one, two and three, four, five and six is bank two. This is sensor one, this is upstream or before the catalytic converter, you have one here, one on the back for bank two. The downstream or sensor 2 guys okay it's located on the exhaust okay under the vehicle we have to get under the vehicle we have the video how to replace them and all that stuff now, all the tools that we'll be using okay this is the socket for uh, uh, for the oxygen sensor replacement it's a special tool that makes your work way easier so check it out listed guys in the description of the video below also and this is guys the connector that we need for that code P0036 this is the oxygen sensor right here so you just get it out okay you undo it from right here okay all we have to do just uh, spread those things open and you can you can pull it out you will follow the wire and it goes towards the back guys there is a zip tie holding them there so you might need to install one later so the cables don't get burnt and you will need to replace it we'll have the whole video from start to finish on the channel how to replace all of the uh, oxygen sensor sensor so if you need help check it out but in today's video we'll see if we replace that sensor now if it's going to take care of our problem and that code so you know what to do guys so let's go ahead and start on it now so we replace guys the oxygen sensor now I'm going to go ahead okay I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn the ignition on Okay, we're going to go ahead and read the codes again to make sure that the computer is still connected, otherwise I have to reconnect it because the ignition was off for a long time. Okay, we're checking that one now. It's uh, communicating with the computer and all that stuff. Okay, the code is still there. So, if I go back, okay, now we can go ahead, okay, actually, and... Uh, erase the code okay let's click erase code are you sure yes we erase it erase done now stay with us to see if uh, what what the test will show us engine light is not on at all that's good we'll go to live data and now we're going to wait for it okay we're going to select that parameters again and we'll see okay what uh, what numbers we're going to get this time custom list enter and here we need to go to oxygen sensor current bank one okay no uh, we need bank okay bank two sensor two and we need bank one sensor two right there select it view data both of them now guys moving okay showing really good numbers check it out so if i have the, the car up a little bit both of them go up and down like they're supposed to check it out 
and they will stabilize and go to around 0 0.6, 0 0.7. Now if we click the graph, okay, let's see if it's going to show us both of them now. Okay, you can see both of them moving, so that definitely, guys, okay, check it out, both of them are showing, okay, about the same parameters, guys, 0 0.7, 0 0.4, if I rev it up. So definitely that's taking care of the problem guys. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.